Scientists place adult stem cells on contact lenses and patients are seeing their sight restored within weeks. I'm Josh Brom and this is Science Matters. So I was checking out dig.com last night and I sorted by the most popular stories in the last week and uh, I came upon the story that mentioned stem cell in it. And the story was stem cell contact lenses cure blindness in less than a month. And so I clicked on it. It had about 3,100 digs, which is pretty good for dig.com. Um, it was the number 21 most dug or digged story that week, depending on which terminology you use. And so I clicked on it and this is what I found out. This has been reported in the BBC, among other places, and basically what's going on is the scientists have taken patients that are legally blind in one eye, and they'll take adult stem cells from the patient's working eye, place them on a soft contact lens, and it turns out the stem cells will stick to the lens, and then just place the contact lens on the patient's bad eye. And within weeks, they are seeing remarkable improvement. It's really, really cool. So once again, we have a new exciting adult stem cell treatment that will hopefully make its way to the public one day. Um, by the way, adult stem cells have been used to treat blindness before. Uh, for years, they've been using adult stem cell transplants um, for U.S. troops that have suffered from Iraqi mustard gas attacks. There's also been some successes in India treating damaged corneas with adult stem cells. Now, the point that I wanted to make, though, was look how oversimplified most of the headlines have been in reporting this story. <laughs> Now, I talk to a lot of people about stem cell research, and I get the question all the time, well, wait a minute, it seems like I've seen stories where, you know, embryonic stem cells have already been used to treat people, and I always have to remind them, no, so far there have been no embryonic stem cell successes, it's all been adult. But it's hard to tell that from the headlines, usually, with these types of stories. So take a look, for example, uh, dig.com. Uh, stem cell contact lenses cure blindness in less than a month. No mention of what kind of stem cells they are. Uh, Gizmodo, stem cell contact lenses cure blindness in less than a month. Sight restored in less than a month using stem cell contact lenses. New stem cell contact lenses cure blindness. Stem cell coated contact lenses are curing the blind. Stem cell coated contact lenses restores vision to the partially sighted. Contact lenses coated with stem cells restore vision within a month. Contact lenses coated in stem cells may restore sight to patients with corneal disease. The future is now. Stem cell contact lenses cure blindness. This one's my favorite, reddit.com. Stem cell contact lenses cure blindness in less than a month. And just to prove that this can have a bad effect on people who are reading these oversimplified headlines, take a look at the very first comment. It is a crime against humanity that stem cell research was held back for so long. Completely not true on several levels. This story is about adult stem cell research, first of all, which was never held back. Second of all, President Bush, the only way that he held back embryonic stem cell research was saying no federal funds for it. But he it wasn't banned. It was still allowed. You just had to get private money if you were going to kill new embryos for it. Now, I understand that headline writers have to try to cut down as many words as possible for a story, although some of these headlines were actually pretty long. But there is a public debate going on on whether we ought to be using embryonic stem cell research versus adult stem cell research and or induced pluripotent stem cell research. It seems like it would help if we made these headlines a little bit more descriptive on what kind of stem cell research we're talking about. Um, most of these stories, if you did read the story, you would figure out um, it was adult stem cell research. So a lot of times they would use the phrase the patient's own stem cell. So yes, that's adult stem cells. A few of the stories did not even mention that. A few of the stories literally just said stem cells and left it at that, but that wasn't the norm. Usually if you read enough into the story, you're going to get it. Um, although there are exceptions to that case. My point is this. Read the full story if you want to get the full story. Okay, So many people just read the headlines and only maybe the first paragraph at most. And if you want to really understand what's going on, read the full story of an article. And even then, sometimes you're going to get the wrong facts, but you'll definitely be better off than someone who only is reading headlines. Because especially when it comes to stem cell research, it takes a lot more than just a headline to help you understand what's going on here. A hilarious example of just this will be coming up in next week's episode. So please subscribe to the channel and rate this video. This is Science Matters. I'll see you next week.